Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Good day everybody, Michael Posnick here, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent here in Prince Edward Island. Today we're doing part two of 536 Ives Point Road. Actually the part two was the vendor's idea and you know what they say, the customer's always right, so I'm happy to do it. Today we're looking at the waterfront land, almost 114 acres of waterfront. The last video, which I will put a link in the description, covered the free house that comes with the waterfront property. So let's go take a look. But before we do, please make sure you take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. We're going to start off on the bottom of Camp Road. This property here abuts the 114 acres. And as you can see, we have a couple houses that are uh, in the 375 to 450 range. It doesn't look like we're going to make it around on foot this way because it's high tide. And I just about sunk to my knees here in this seaweed. So here we are in the other corner. And this is uh, cut out just in the corner of the subject property. It's a non-directional beacon, which is used for guidance for airplanes. I don't know if ships use them. Across the street, we have a cottage that's uh, a little more rustic in nature. This would be one of the tips of land. We're just gonna walk along this shore here that's been protected by this erosion barrier, probably by the government. For those that know the area, that is a water tower in Summerside, which is probably only three, four miles away. That would be Lake Letter Provincial Park. And right there you have the lighthouse that sits across from Summerside at McCollum's Point. If somebody lost an orange rubber glove, it's right here on the shore. There also appears to be a very old rear differential here if you're attempting to build a vintage car. So right here I'm standing on the absolute tip of the property. The beach is actually quite nice. Red sand. It almost feels like it could throw a rock at Summerside from here, which is what adds a lot of value to this property. You're not going to find 114 acres of waterfront anywhere near Summerside on the water. So from here, I'm starting to see Scareman's Point to be right there. That's how close we are. This would be the uh, the tip of the land, which probably sits a little low. But what a absolute pristine piece of property. A little further around the corner, it seems to get a little sandier. So there's the, uh, the NDB or the tower where we started. And I'm right here. There's a little bit of a low spot here. This is about as far as I'm going to go here. So hopefully the aerial photos give you a much better feel for uh, the area. One last shot across the water. That would be Sunbury Cove right across the water in St. Nicholas. Come back to the shore. Oh, wait a second. We don't want to miss this. View of the Confederation Bridge in the distance. From here we can even see the ship that's in the uh, port, the wharf, in Summerside. That concludes my coverage on 536 Ives Point Road. Please take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, share it with friends and comment at michaelshomeshd.com and join my weekly newsletter at michaelshomes.com. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to buy it right.